Hey, Clap and 80 here with the introduction video for 50 modeling issues from Hell, the ultimate troubleshooting tips collection for 3D modelers. Uh, let's take a look at the teaser and then we'll come back and we'll explore it further. If you just started with 3D modeling, you've probably realized by now that many things can go off the rails. Even if you feel more or less comfortable with 3D modeling in general, there are always more things that can spoil the fun. We definitely know that there are some techniques that we need to give special mention to. Many thanks to your blends and emails and the general feedback that we get. And that allows us to really focus in on these same issues that crop up again and again. So we're gonna name a few common modeling issues and let's see if anything from that list rings true for you. Ready? A subdivided object collapses into a hopeless mess. The topology going haywire because you did something awful. Non-manifold geometry drives people nuts. Usually booleans are to blame. And flipping normals doesn't help. Boolean ops seems to be the most efficient way to ruin the topology. Blender text remeshing turns out to produce meshes that can't be properly beveled. Models explode due to some mistake in operating the modifier stack. Or they can do it on render. Bevels overshooting like hell, or not working at all. The models exported to other software or to game engines just look ridiculous. Wanna see more? Subdivision pinching resulting in garbage geometry and shading. Self intersections. Subdivision surfaces looking like pancakes. Heavy meshes that are so heavy it takes ages to move just a single vertex. Hello, photo scans. Poles twist shading. Or it's just glitchy. And go figure. Or finally, Blender just crashes and you lose all progress. It happens to Blender too. If you can relate to anything on this very brief list of modeling issues from hell, and at the same time you don't want to spend countless millions of hours on YouTube searching through various tutorial channels like ours for example, or Stack Exchange forums, you name it, then this video course is going to be for you. We believe it is the ultimate collection of the most common and some wild and rare 3D modeling issues that you're most likely to encounter. Even though the number 50 has been mentioned, actually it's more than 80 mini-tutorials that are available right off the bat, and there will be more to come. Assorted chocolates of 3D modeling quick tips ranging from topology to glitch fixing. So these are chocolates you do know what you're gonna get, thanks to the full table of contents for this course on the Trello page we created, and going to be updating for this purpose. Or just go to creativeshrimp.com slash hell. So, here we go. Are you ready? <laughs> but first, the requirements. Blender 2.82 and above. Basic knowledge of Blender, such as viewport navigation and using the standard modeling tools and modifiers. This course is aimed at the intermediate skilled Blender users. Although we have tried our best to make sure it's comprehensible for the beginners, we're going to be moving fast. Maybe a bit too fast for absolute beginners. So this could be a problem if you don't feel familiar enough with the user interface. So just a little warning there. We've put a lot into the course, but for just for peace of mind, uh, we want you to know that there is a 60 day refund available for whatever reason, no questions asked. Enroll in the course now and receive all the future updates for free. Let's escape the modeling hell together. Good, perfect. I liked it. That was good.